All right, everybody, welcome back to another cold winter morning here on the Salt River. It is Monday though, meaning the big crowds hit Saturday and Sunday. So I know these fish have been pressured pretty hard, but we're gonna see if we can catch a few. I'm gonna get some of that dough bait out there and see if I can get me one. That's usually the ticket for these stalkers. All right. Back in, back in, back in that spot. It's around there. We're going for some spinner action here. I'm seeing fish. Pretty close to shore, actually. Finally, finally we got them. Jeez, we kept missing fish, man. We could not keep them on. We finally got this one. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in the stomach though. Salt River. Spanking trout. This is probably the easiest way to catch them though. Just putting power bait on the bottom. But if you're gonna catch some to eat, that's the way to do it. He's actually lip hooked. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Salt River rainbow. All righty, let's do it again. I'm gonna try spanking on the spinner. Probably need to put the split shot on that, but. On the power bait right, right as I make that cast. Got him. Got him. Another one. Another one on the power bait. It's just magic. It's just too, it's too good. I'm not sure how this one has it here. If we can let him go, potentially. But I've been fishing this spot a few times, waiting for the stock. What else he hooked? Oh, no, he's lip hooked. I do have a net on the way. There's another beautiful Salt River rainbow hooked in the lip with the power bait. Always fun. Been waiting all freaking year for them to start this stocking, but this one we're going to release. And there it goes. <laughs> Perfect. See if we can get another one. I think we'll do that. We'll just alternate, release every other one as long as they're hooked okay. This is what I've caught all my fish on though. Got a few bites on the other one, but, but they are definitely down there. Garlic power bait has been killing it. Didn't catch your name. Uh, Mark. Mark, I'm Paul. Paul, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet I you. I see you got yourself some breakfast there. Yeah. It's just been power bait for me. I haven't gotten really any bites on spinners, so nice to meet you again. Right. See, you, Mark. see ya. I'm gonna go slightly left here, maybe like there-ish. Rolling, finally. Garlic power bait. Once again, finally got this guy up here. I think this one is going to be kept here. I believe they uh, they stocked some bigger ones. He swallowed it anyway. I believe they stocked some bigger ones this year because in the angler satisfaction surveys, people were not satisfied with the size of the fish last year, but look at them. Look at how pretty that is. Get them on the stringer here. Add to our second one. Make some smoke fish. All right. Seems like there's a little hole out there. I kind of have to cast over the weeds to get to it, but it's full of fish. It appears. If we can catch one more in here, I may put the underwater camera down there and see what we could see, because I'm kind of curious. So we went straight 
right over those weeds. I brought it back. I'll leave that a little bit loose. Unless we're getting a bite right now, I can't tell. Yep. Jeez. There's another. Jeez, man. This one feels a little bit smaller. That was insta bite right there. Insta bite. He's getting caught in that. Those weeds up there. We got six pound test on here. Here we go. So long as he has not swallowed it, I uh, plan on letting this one go. Beautiful fish. He's covered in grass though. Covered in grass. He wanted to release some of them, even though these are probably gonna get plucked by people anyway. There he is. Beautiful fish on the power bait. We got him right outside of the corner of the mouth and uh, we're gonna let him go here. There he goes. Awesome, man. Freaking awesome. I think it's time. I think it's time here. So we have our go fish cam here with a pool noodle that's gonna float it off the bottom. We then have a weight that is gonna hold it on the bottom. Then we have another weight to hold the power bait on the bottom and then the power bait's gonna float up and look like this. I know it's a mouthful, but hopefully it all comes out okay for you guys. We're rolling, here we go. All right, guys, first cast into the deep hole in the Salt River. I was so excited to film this video. You see us getting down here, water's gonna be crystal, crystal clear, way more clear than I thought. And we are going to start seeing fish immediately here, as soon as we hit the bottom. Boom, look at all those trout, cruising at all different depths in the water column. Unfortunately, my pool noodle was not working well this day. For some reason, it wasn't floating off the bottom. So we kind of have a cut off view. I apologize for that. But look at these fish. Kind of reminds me of a fishing video game. Fish just kind of cruising in the background, but it is loaded with trout down there. This was about a week after the stock. Um, so it was nice to see a fair amount of fish still down there. Here we actually get pecked on our power bait just out of view. See a little sucker fish down there as well. We definitely got some attention. You can see some fish swimming over. Just kind of checking it out. Plenty of fish down there though. Here, this one actually picks it up. He's kind of swimming around with it. And then he starts pulling a little bit harder and that is when we notice the bite on our rod. Oh, we have one on the camera, I think. I think we have one on the camera. Oh my goodness, that did not take long. Yeah, we definitely got one on here. Hopefully the shot came out all right down there. This is on the corn power bait. Oh, we got a mess now. <laughs> All right, let's configure this here. Not the first one I've caught on the go fish cam, but the first one in the Salt River. Beautiful little rainbow. Since we caught and kept that last one, this guy is going to be released. Get out of here. Let's get it out there, get a rod back in the water. Hopefully get some more footage, man. All right, we ended up getting straight back down there. Here you're gonna see some more trout see our bait for a split second you can kind of see them all swimming over in the distance getting a little bit closer there here the camera was even more cut off so i apologize once again i'm going to try and fix that for next time but you can see the line here there's a fish biting our bait just out of view. you can see the split shot hanging up there you'll see a munch on it and he actually takes it fairly good and uh we do hook him for a second here fish on and fish off. Right after this though, we did hook a fish on our non-camera rod. Oh, we're we were. Got him. Number three. Or this will be number three. Insane, man. Ooh, he's pulling a little bit. We got a nicer one? Camera's about to die. GoPro at least. Oh. 
definitely the biggest one of the day. Wow. Try not to have him freak out here. But there he is. Beautiful Salt River Rainbow on the power bait. This is our third that we're going to keep, at least. That is our biggest so far. Probably a good 15, 16 inches or so. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. We get our camera rod back in the water. Just so happy with how uh, clear it is down there. See a trout cruise by. I see one kind of follow it down there. You see all those sucker fish in the background. Pretty cool. Here we get a little bit better view. You see those uh, Sonoran suckers just kind of cruising on the bottom. Those fish are uh, very tricky to catch, I've been hearing, so I'm gonna have to try and get after some of them at some point. Here they come, approaching the camera. Just slowly cruising around. This morning it was pretty cold. I think it was like 32 or something like that, so fish were uh, not moving too fast down there. See some trout in the background there, just kind of schooled up. There's some very nice fish to be caught this day, though. We did not catch a lot of little ones, that is for sure. We'll see one in the background. Good sized fish. Here you'll see a little largemouth towards the top of the screen, swimming from right to left there. That is the only one we saw this day. Get another little rainbow. Kind of interested, but just doesn't really doesn't really make the move towards the bait. You'll kind of see him look at it, swim up, swim away, just like that. Just not really too into it as the day went on. Just one on the spinner would be nice. Pretty much standing right where I caught one of my fish this morning, actually. Oh, that's how He's down. And he's on. Yeah, we got him. He's out there. His first one in a little bit here. Kind of slowed down. Look at that. The garlic, I believe we had on this one. I believe that's what we had. I think he is lip hooked. Yep, he is. We're gonna let this one go. There's another. This one is going to see another day down there. I'm trying to make sure these things don't get pounded too hard out here. Beautiful fish. There he goes. Look at that nice little orange color they got. Wow. I do think it is time for a small switch up though. We're going to switch to the cheese flavored because it kind of seemed like the fish are slowing down a bit so we'll hit them with a small change what a day of fishing though guys man the early morning bite was definitely the hottest same spot i was basically just straight straight out well let's get back in with the spinner and uh keep fishing until we get bit on that This morning, we were getting them right about there, so. Oh, and right as I passed that, my other eye was good. Might not even need that rod, though. We got them, though. There we go. This is on the orange. The cheese. Cheese power bait. Anyone can come out here and do this very family-friendly way to catch yourself some trout. See how big he is here. Ooh, pulling a little bit. There he is. Yes. All right, guys, I think we're going to end it. Look at that, beautiful beautiful salt river rainbow i could not get them to bite a spinner i tried colors tried different colors 
I try to fly and bobber again, I'm willing to do anything to catch fish, even if it is using power bait. There is our four trout limit. We ended up letting like three or four go, so we probably caught like two limits today, but but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We killed it today. We'll see you in the next.